Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, today I want to show you how to prune a tomato. Um, this is something that you have to do throughout the season for most tomato plants to make sure that they don't have too many growing stems. Um, tomatoes, tomatoes grow what are called suckers, and I'm going to show you how to find those. Um, suckers are basically a clone of the main growing stem of the plant. Um, that come out between the stem and the leaves and tomatoes uh, when they grow these suckers they're putting a lot of energy into vegetative growth and not as much energy into flowers and fruits so if you keep them trimmed um, I usually do two stems per plant two main stems per plant um, you keep them trimmed down to that they will produce more fruit for you throughout the year um, and not turn into a giant unmanageable bush. So these are the tomatoes we planted last time. Um, you can see it's kind of a big mess. Um, there's lots of lots of stuff going on in here, so let's look at how to tell uh, what's what in there. So the first thing you want to do um, is find a stem. So the main stem you can pick out pretty easily. Um, if you look at this part of the plant, you can see here's where that uh, leaf in the way. There's where the stem comes out of the ground. Um, you can follow that all the way up. Like that's pretty clearly the main stem of the plant. So we know we don't want to cut that. That we're going to be careful not to cut that. So then, um, how do you identify the leaves? So the leaves come directly off the stem. You can see one. See lots of them, but this is one you can see a really good angle of. Um, the leaves have lots of little leaflets on them. This this whole thing is a leaf. Uh, a lot of people are kind of confused about that. These are not individual leaves up here. This is one big leaf um, that has individual leaflets. And you can see it comes off of the main stem um, at mostly at a right angle. It, it comes off, you know, not quite at a right angle, but it's close to a right angle. So then how do I identify suckers? So a couple of ways that I use. Um, if you look at the top of the main stem, you can see kind of where it's all tiny, where everything is little and growing in there. Um, you're going to want to look for that pattern elsewhere. So if we look at down over here, we can see there's another little kind of set of buds or whatever in there. It's a little fuzzier. And um, so then we can we suspect that that's a, a sucker. So then we can look. Suckers come out at the nodes and the nodes are the where the leaves come out of the stem. So you can see the stem here on the left. You can see the leaf here. If there's something growing in between and it looks like the main stem of the plant, that is a sucker. So now you can see, look at that little tomato plant coming right out there. Um, this one happens to have another like leaf. Sorry, you can't, it's hard to say. Uh, this is the sucker in my thumb. Um, and then there's this little tiny leaf stem coming out there too. That's okay. You can cut it off or not. Um, I know that that's a leaf, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, tomatoes are really, they can be pretty weird and like do lots of unexpected things or, or things that are out of pattern. So um, there are lots of exceptions to every rule, but the, the easiest way to find suckers is to look at all the nodes. Um, and even the nodes on tomatoes uh, have like, they're kind of little knobbly, so you can pretty easily find them. Um, and this is another sucker right here because we got the stem on the right, we've got the leaf coming out there, and there's the sucker in the middle. Okay, so uh, for the little suckers, uh, you don't actually even need to cut them off. Um, you can just snap them off with your fingers. What I do is reach in like that with the sucker between my thumb and finger, and then just kind of snap sideways. Um, and you can see that that snapped off pretty clean. Sorry, it was out of focus, but now the sucker is gone. Um, for the bigger ones, I do like to use a knife, um, and I like to use a pretty sharp knife. This is one that I got when I was uh, working on a farm, and um, 
it's very sharp. You want to make sure to make the cleanest cut possible so that it doesn't hurt the plant. I mean, plants like animals, when you cut them, you're exposing them to infection. And so a sharp, clean knife will make the easiest cut to heal for the plant. Um, so it's going to be hard to do one-handed, but I'm going to reach in here and just kind of with a sharp knife, it's not so hard. Just cut that right off. And there's that little sucker. You can just toss it on the ground. Um, it'll melt away in a couple days. And then you can see that nice clean cut there. It's okay to leave a little bit of the stem. Um, and basically you're going to want to just look at the whole plant. So if we go down here to the, the rest of the stem, we can see there's one sucker here and one sucker here. So I, I've let this plant go for a little while, so we need to get rid of all the suckers on this plant. You can also see them starting to grow in there. I don't know how easily you can see that, but there's a little sucker starting right in there. Um, if it's big enough, you can get rid of it at this point. The earlier, the better, but if it's too small, you can just let it grow for a day or two and then cut it out. Um, We'll see this throughout the season, but uh, the plant is going to have lots of suckers growing from the nodes, even after you cut them off. So I cut this one off down here. It could still grow another one from this node somewhere. Um, so you want to be really vigilant. You want to check every couple days and uh, find all the suckers. Just start at the, the bottom of the plant, work your way up one stem. We do have another stem over here already on this plant, so I can actually work my way up that plant as well. Um, this one's a little harder. You can see it's growing in an unusual shape, and that's because I actually already trimmed this plant when it got frozen uh, early in the season. So um, I'm going to keep this. At this point, all of these are sort of suckers, and you can choose which one you want to keep. I'm going to keep this stem because it's the biggest one, and then all of these little stems can get cut off as well. And finally, here is the plant after I've cut off all the suckers. You can see all the suckers down here. Quite a few of them came off. It's going to feel a little bit strange, maybe, to cut off this much. Um, but the plant is doing just fine. You can see, we look at all of this. It's very clean looking now. There's one stem uh, on each side. And uh, it's going to maybe even grow a little bit faster now that all, it's not putting the energy into those suckers. Um, also, this isn't even a lot. It looks like, you know, relative to the plant that's left, it's a lot of a, it's a high percentage, but um, sometimes, like, I've cut suckers off that are bigger than this plant is now, off of a big tomato, a, a late season tomato. Um, you go, you want to just keep your eye on it because it's really easy to miss them sometimes, and then you end up with Oh, you have too, you have actually too many stems and uh, you didn't realize it and sometimes you end up cutting off quite a bit. So the, the earlier you can cut them off, the better. Um, but you do have to keep watching out for them every few days. Um, so I will now move on to that plant, cut off the suckers. Uh, I'm going to plant the rest of the tomatoes today. And in a few days even, it looks like this plant is going to be big enough to need staking. Uh, which is one way of supporting your tomatoes so they can grow up instead of along the ground. Um, just makes it easier to harvest the tomatoes and um, maybe makes them a little bit happier and make a, little, a few more tomatoes for you. So um, I'll plant those and then in a few days I'll show you what I do to stake the tomatoes and support them.